Today guys, I bring you a fix to the negative guardian tokens book. So stay tuned to find out how you can actually start leveling up that legend rank again. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps me out and subscribe if you want more Borderlands 3 videos. Also, I am giving away copies of Borderlands to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply make sure you are subbed to this channel and have that notification button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so the bug which is happening in game now is to those Guardian tokens. And a lot of people within our community are seeing basically a minus number. One they have to catch up with by gaining Guardian tokens via XP. So if you are negative 50, you actually have to rank up your legend rank 50 times before you will then actually start earning guardian tokens to use now i've been trying what feels like days to resolve this issue so many of us are having what happens is well this is what i'm doing i am farming offline xp as you well know you earn so much more so trying to farm offline xp and gain those guardian tokens to balance it out i've been doing this but when i've been coming back online it seems to revert back to those minus numbers now i've searched everywhere online and it seems like thousands of us are suffering as there's no fix well people it's good news i have a fix now before anyone states this is what you deserve for farming offline, actually this bug has happened to people playing online too. If you're playing Borderlands, if you're running Borderlands in the background on your console and then watching YouTube or Netflix, for some reason the game thinks you are offline and this bug can happen. Either way, my fix works, no matter how the bug occurred. So this is what you need to do and depending on your negative token number, the longer the process will take. So what you have to do is balance out legend tokens and farm offline XP, which also makes the process much much quicker so the exact fix and what i figured out was you have to get double or around 2.2 times your current negative token number so if you have minus 10 tokens you need to farm offline until you get 22 guardian tokens which you can spend if you have minus 100 guardian tokens you have to farm offline until you get 220 guardian tokens which you can spend now this theory is proven via me actually doing this but the 2.2 times and the number of tokens you need to farm offline might vary slightly could be higher could be lower but that doesn't really matter the point of this fix allows you to get to a point of earning guardian tokens again so you can spend them and even if you end my process with like two or three negative that's miles better than minus 50 or 100 because at a low number like this you'll be able to crack on after a few minutes of actually online farming and everything will be fine reset so with the theory of you having minus 50 go offline via disconnecting from the internet so quit your game and make sure it isn't running in the background then disconnect from the internet load borderlands then back up Sometimes on Xbox you can get other cards, but just keep trying until it loads. Then head to your favourite XP farming spot. For me it's the 4 bullies within Amber Meyer Rogue on Eden 6. So spawn in here, turn around, jump out the window and they spawn in this cave. Each gives you a ton of XP. Other people like to use Grave Ward upon Eden 6 within the floating tomb area. That's completely fine. Both give great XP. The first kill you will get here while offline, you will get a ton of XP, normally giving you upwards of 35 levels. And this is what I believe messes everything up, because I think the game is trying to balance between online and offline modes. And because XP gains are different, it causes a major bug, which a lot of us are seeing in those negative Guardian tokens. The game seems to be calculating offline XP and then Guardian tokens spent offline and thinking, well, that ain't right once you get back online, and it just simply deducts that number from you you leaving you with minus numbers so if you want to sort your numbers out and still want to farm offline like legendaries and so forth just don't spend any guardian tokens you earn offline it's as simple as that so yes back to the actual process so the first billy you kill here will give you a load of xp and a load of guardian tokens don't forget the higher the mayhem mold the more xp you will earn 
Keep farming though until you have at least two times the negative number you started this process with. It won't take you long, each run you should gain a few levels easy. So if you start this process at a minus 45, get plus 90 guardian tokens. If you are at a minus 60, get a plus 120 guardian tokens. It's doing this process which will allow you to determine the amount you actually have to get. So once you have the said amount you need, do not spend any, quit your game. Make sure it isn't running in the background of your console and reconnect back to the internet and load back up Borderlands 3. Now it's important to make sure the game knows you are back online, sometimes if you reconnect to the internet too quick the game doesn't actually register this and you can still earn offline XP for a short time while playing online and this can confuse you. What normally happens is you will get a notification of a game update, this you must do. Doing this makes sure the game knows you are back online. But like I said, most of the time, the game after quitting out of it and restarting your internet, then loading the game back up, is enough. To check this, press start, then edit a group, then click the cog, and make sure it isn't set to local only. Another way to tell if you are back online as well is getting another kill on one of those billies, and seeing the XP you gain. If it is still set to local only, and the no game update notifications are popping up, hard reset your console. So when you are back online, head to any destination and get yourself a kill. I just went back to my farming spot as I know what the XP gains are. So once you get a kill, check your guardian tokens. What you should see is a much better difference in your favour. For many of explained this process too has completely resolved their negative tokens bug. For me I started this process with a minus 18, so I farmed until I had plus 40 guardian tokens, then come back online, got that kill, when I checked I had minus 3, which is a much better difference than being at a minus 18. And doing this guys will ultimately help you out. If when you do check after doing this process you have like minus 10 or something like this number, you can simply go back offline and going back to that one farming spot and killing that one enemy, this will give you a load of tokens again. Then just simply come back online using the same steps. Get another kill while online and your tokens will have at least gone more so towards you in your favour. And this is all you have to do people. Like I said, you need to get two times what you have in those negative tokens. So if you have minus 50, you need to get at least 100 tokens you can spend while farming off a lion. Now I'll explain the process I did in full from the very first step, including the mistakes I was making too. I started the day with minus 27 guardian tokens. I thought being at this negative number that I'd have to farm 27 guardian tokens off line which when I then come back online and get another kill, it would balance it out. So I did this, but it didn't quite work out how I imagined. I ended up being at minus 18, which is where I started the process I explained for you guys today, which is ultimately a fix. So I went back and farmed 42 guardian tokens, did the process of coming back online, getting that kill, and it ended up at minus three. But having ranked up a few more times, I am now back on track and not in those negative numbers. Remember people what I said earlier, if you want to farm legendaries offline, even if you want to farm towards the initial 50 levels offline, do not spend any of the guardian tokens you earn while playing that offline mode. Do not do it people, it will lead to you while in that online mode going back into those negative guardian token numbers. So yeah people, I hope this helped you out, I really do. If it did, leaving a like really helps me out, but on that note, we have come to the end of the video, guys. If you are new around here and want to see more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe, and if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.